It's been 24 years. It's been 30 years. It's been almost 15 years. It's been 30 years since Harvey Weinstein sexually assaulted me. My name is Jody Cantor. My name is Megan Tui. I'm an investigative reporter for The New York Times. You have to imagine that every call you make is being recorded and you're being followed. I was one of the women that went on the record in the article that came out. Sometimes it feels like it just happened yesterday. At other times, it feels like lifetimes ago. I was a very different person in 1998. I was young, scared. I had started my own theater company. I was way ahead of the game. And then I was assaulted by Harvey, and it really disrupted my career. I pulled back. It's not something I dwelt on until I got a phone call from a Weinstein ex-employee asking me if I'd spoken to any journalists. And a week later, I got a phone call from Jodie Cantor, and I was ready to tell her everything. It was like he took my voice that day, just when I was about to start finding it. She'll go down in the history books as the first, and to watch her take back her voice was really inspiring. You can use anything I've said. I'll go on the record. He did this to all these women, and I felt sad for myself that that young girl had taken the blame for it. It was only after I spoke out that I realized that every story is important. When I read that New York Times piece, I had this sinking feeling in my stomach knowing that this horrible thing had happened to so many other people, but I also felt a sense of hope that there were others out there like me. We're all here, Harvey. Who? have you talked to? Nothing was as powerful as our brave sources and the truth. And look at the impact. There was a positioning of my story among the Asian community that was very different from the stories that were already out there, that had felt that there was no voice that spoke for them. The outcome changed the lives of women everywhere. And while we know we still have a long way to go, there's no turning back now. In terms of this story, things have only just begun. Only when this information is public and people can react to it, they can be in dialogue with it, our ending is everybody else's beginning. And we had spent so much time trying to unearth these hidden stories of abuse and harassment. And then to see the dam break and to see all these other stories bursting into public view, it was so satisfying. Finally, the truth was out. Bye.